Hey, boo. Hey. So we are doing another pick a card here for you today. And we are talking about who is your opposition? Who are your ops? Who is secretly hating on you? I can tell you right now, this is not the reading I was going to do this morning. No, it really wasn't. I was going to do a different reading, but my guides always talk to me and they always tell me clearly the 411. All right. And so as I was pulling these cards out, you know, they was telling me a story about my own personal situation and a hater, okay, that's really trying to waste my time and things of that nature. So with that here, I decided to bring this forth and we're going to find out who's secretly hating on you, who's bringing opposition. We're going to find out what their problem is, you know, what's the reasons for it. And we're also going to find out how, you know, this is going to affect you, if at all, because it may not affect you. This person may just be salivating. They may not even be in your energy space. You know what I'm saying? So whatever happens, we are going to find out today. So we got three cards to choose from for your piles. The first one is use your time well, okay? The second one is do not drink poison, baby, no. And the third one is nonsense, okay? All this seems like it's coming from ops. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. All right, go ahead and choose your card and we're gonna go ahead and get the reveal done, baby. Hey, Pile One. So quickly before we get started, I just want to say if you haven't checked out Patreon, you are missing out on exclusive video content, free live readings every month, an exclusive group coaching community where you get community support, learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal trauma that blocks love, and step into that confidence you deserve, as well as you can find some intuitive courses on my website to open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, or to simply leave your toxic relationship patterns behind you and of course if you'd like to book a reading you can find the details for all of that in the description box below all right cute stuff you picked pile one we'll go ahead and find out who is secretly hating who are your ops what is going on with these people or persons okay let's go ahead and find out spirit give us insight here who is secretly hating on pile one who's bringing opposition to their life what's going on here so we got the empress okay we got the two of wands mm -hmm. we got temperance okay we got the star love it who's Bringing opposition, Ten of Cups. Who's secretly hating on Pile One? We got the King of Swords, the Hermit, ooh, 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 and the Five of Wands. So I can tell you, Pile One, this is somebody here that I feel like you know pretty decently well. Okay, you know this person pretty well okay we got this two of wands here so i feel like you and this person in some way come together or are supposed to be coming together or collaborating in some way right so this could be um through work this could be through friendship this could be through some sort of personal connection school work whatever there's something projects that you guys do come together there's like a meeting of the minds okay now, it looks like this person sees you living your best life. We got the Empress, we got Temperance, we got the Star. This person feels like you are really flourishing right now, okay? That you have this great sense of abundance. And you can see the way she's looking over. I almost feel like this person watches you uh, quite a bit. So this could be either in person, could be on social media, okay? Being nosy, all up in your business. This may be somebody that asks a lot of questions, always want to know your business, things of that nature. But it's someone that just really watches you it feels like you're going through a glow up okay you're glamming up you're glowing up you're feeling good you're looking good and so this person is watching and they're seeing things go really smoothly for you and i love this image here because she's pouring a drink but it's like this person seeing your cup get full and then it's funny because right after the pour here she's actually uh 
like pouring the water in these plants to help it grow. So this person feels that your cup is full, right? And that you're continuing to grow or your life is continuing to flourish. So this person feels like you have an abundance. They feel like you have a very happy life here with this 10 of cups. Like you have a happy ending. Things are really going well for you. And this really aggravates this person, okay? Their aggravation level is up there because we got them stepping into this energy here of this king of swords. Okay, so this person, even though you know them quite well, they're very much in a logical type of state here where they're not. I feel like this person actually is really taking a lot of their feelings and thoughts from their ego. OK, because what's happening is they're really thinking kind of critically and harshly about your situation. And this is because they it seems like they want to be you, baby. I, I wish I could say something different. OK, and so what's happening is that this person here again, we got Hermit. I feel like for a lot of you, this is a person that's always knowing what you're talking about in your business, but you know very little of theirs. OK, um, but she's got this light again to try to watch. I feel like this person definitely watches you in this person in competition five of wands okay five of wands is about competition you can see right here they're about to have a bowling match this person feels like they deserve the abundance they feel like they deserve for their cup to be full they feel like they deserve the happy endings so they sitting around like why the hell you getting it so they are really hating give us more here about this person in pile one who's secretly opposing them Lost. So this person has gone through a lot. Um, they probably don't have as much abundance as you do. For some of you, this person may feel like they have lost you or like you um, have a lot more going on. Yeah, I just feel like this person's someone that has low energy vibrations because they've been through a lot of loss. They do have a lot of grief here. So it makes them almost in, in unable, I was going to say unable, unable to to really see their own value and this person is working through some abandonment issues yeah this person for some of you you abandoned this person maybe you saw they shady energy so you got the hell away from them it was like i don't got time because that's what i do when i know somebody's hating i'm not gonna keep sticking around and letting them suck my energy dry like an energy vampire hell to the no 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 okay but for some of you this person just has an abandonment issue but this person doesn't realize that they always ended up abandoned because they're competitive and they're a hater People don't like that kind of energy around them. You always going to end up abandoned and with loss if you're always competing with everyone. How about sit back? Be real. Defense. Yes. This person is always on the defense and that's the problem. Okay. This may be someone that's edgy at times, like they on edge or they always feel like somebody coming for them or the smallest things get this person upset. Okay. They just get upset. Like, you know, somebody said they name wrong on accident. They just met this person. This person, you, you know, I'm tired of people. People can't never respect me. But it's really their own self-love problem. They don't love themselves, so they're always trying to, you know, compete with others to validate themselves. But this is really scaring everybody off. That's all it's really doing. Tell us more here. Who's secretly hating on pile one? Who are their opposition? We got this energy here. Oh, yes. This is why they mad, okay? This person feels like, or people, right? You are free. You are liberated. This person knows that you've gone through your own soul growth. They know that you love yourself. You take care of yourself. We got the self-care here, okay? And they know here that you're someone that it has a very pure heart. So this person is almost like, they know why you're blessed, but then they're still mad at themselves because they don't know how to get to your position. And so for some reason, they feel like this kind of negativity, this hatred or this malice or, you know, the spitefulness, this resentment, this manipulation, whatever game they're playing. They feel like that's really the only answer when it's not. All they got to do is liberate themselves, step into their own level of self-care, okay? P purify their heart, go through some healing instead of sitting around worrying about what everybody else is doing and hating on what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us more here, Spirit. What's coming for pile one? How is this situation going to unfold with this hater, this opposition? How is this going to unfold here for pile one? Okay, so we got fear. We got gratitude and pleasure. So 
Spirit is saying here that there's nothing to fear about this person, okay? There's nothing to fear about this person. This person is simply mad and upset, poor little baby, poor thing, okay? Because you're living your best life. What Spirit is saying, this is a time for you really to be in gratitude here for your blessings and to be aware of any types of snakes, leeches, okay, poisonous spiders, any of that stuff. We want to be careful of that. It is a time where you need to continue enjoying your life. Don't hide, don't scale back, right? But just, it's like, as you don't fear, you can just kind of let your energy seep in a little bit, hang out there. It's like, I don't feel like this person will do anything to actually hurt you, Um Physically, not to say nobody could, you know what I'm saying? But this person is really just envious and jealous. And it looks like they're doing more watching than anything. And with that, Spirit is saying, you really have nothing to fear. You can continue to be positive, stay in gratitude, and know that your life is going to be filled with so much more pleasure, no matter how much of an attitude this person has and how miserable they are, it's not really affecting you. So they don't even know that they're not even really bringing any opposition. They they think they are, they're trying to in their head, but they opposing their damn self. That's who they opposing, they damn self, because you ain't even worried about them. Not at all. You too busy in these blessings, honey, in these blessings. All right, boo, like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll be talking to you later. Bye. Hey, Pile 2. So quickly, I just want to say Patreon is the place to be. We got exclusive video content, free live readings every month, exclusive group coaching where there's community and support. You learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal trauma that blocks love, and step into the confidence you deserve. I also have intuitive courses on my website where you can open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, as well as learn to leave your toxic relationship patterns behind you. And if you want to book a personal reading, the details for that is below. All right, there are pile two. So you picked here, do not drink the poison. Isn't this just so fitting? Okay. So this may be someone that's trying to feed you a little bit of BS. Okay. They might be trying to play mind games. They might be lying a little bit. Um, Whatever it is, I almost feel like spirit. it says here, do not do things you know are bad for you. So this person could be trying to give some bad advices, but, you know, posing as a friend. We're going to find out here who your opposition is and, you know, why they hating. What's going on? What's going on? Spirit, give us insight for pile two. Who is their opposition? Who? Who are their ops? Who? 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 We got the hanged man. Okay. We got the eight of wands. We got the five of pentacles. And the hierophant. Okay. We got here the page of pentacles. The knight of wands. The Two of Wands and, oh, this popped right out. The Seven of Wands. Hmm. I can tell you right now that this person is a bit of a opportunist is the energy I'm getting here, okay? I'm getting, and I don't want to say a bit of an opportunist, but I'm feeling opportunist. And so I feel like this person here could be trying to create some opposition in your life here to maybe block your opportunities or to step into your opportunities, you know, welcome themselves to your opportunities. Is something going on here like that, okay? So what I'm getting here between the hanged man and the hierophant, this person has really come to some major conclusions, okay? They've really just reflected and came to the conclusion that there's something about you that helps them to move past a five of pentacles. So this could be actual financial. It could be a feeling of loneliness, abandonment, misery, okay? So this could definitely be... Um, someone that's watching you and ready to, you know, step in and be like, I know this person, like almost an energy vampire. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like they can just kind of step in and somehow they feel you're going to fix things or help them in some way. 
then on the other end, it really, um, there's this opportunity. Yes, it's like this person is feeling like you can help them quickly get towards something or get towards some sort of goal. Yes, but they're on the defense as well. Hmm. I almost feel like this person, it's, it's a weird energy because it's like, they feel like you can help them in some way, but they're on the defense. Tell us more about what's going on with this person. Why are they on the defense? What is the opposition here? Why are they on the defense? What is the opposition? Page of Swords. So this person thinks you're full of crap, okay? They think you're full of it in certain ways. I feel like you and this person have been having some sort of conversations. Um, mm -hmm. And they feel like you're very logical or you're very controlled. It's almost like, I almost feel like this is somebody who... You're supposed to be doing something with this person. Come together. This could be for work. This could be for friendship. This could be for um, relationship. Whatever. Okay. This is a mess. I'm not even going to try to fix it. But it's like there's some sort of back and forth or something like that to where it's almost like you don't really move forward. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Tell us more about this opposition in pile two. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, trickery. I'm telling you, this person here. <laughs> oh, loss. They feel like y'all are playing some sort of mental game, okay? Defense. Or you guys are in that energy of like trying to one-up each other. But it's almost like, you know, when you have a friend of me, okay? Or that's really the energy that I'm getting here. Like you and this person are supposed to somehow be... You definitely know this person. It's almost like... Yes, I don't know. It's just crazy energy, okay? So let me give an example. This is an example. So say you have a best friend, right? And this best friend likes the exact same shirt that you got, right? But you don't really want this person to get the same shirt. So when they ask you, where did you get the shirt? You say, I don't remember. But this person thinks you're full of crap because they know that you remember and they know that you just really don't want them to get it. Yes, this is the exact energy I'm getting here. It's like y'all are in some sort of silent battle. There's some trickery here. You know, being on the defense is funny that that came out right under the seven of wands with Miss Sophia there defending. But yeah, it's like you guys are both on guard. You both know about this. Y'all know. And that's why I said do not do things that are bad for you. That makes sense. And it's like y'all are both on the defense right now but also playing offense so you definitely know who this person is give us more here who are your ops who are your ops hmm. so again like i said it's like a silent war okay definitely a silent war we got here that there's a sense of curiosity. I feel like there's a lot of speculating, you know, between you and this person, but there's really no evidence. There's no proof, right? Um, and so with this here, there's this sense of just kind of quietness. There's no proof. There's nobody really discussing what's going on. But at the same time, it's like both of y'all are really devising plans to defend your energy or defend your territory. So we got devise and strategize, formulate. So I feel like this person definitely is watching you and you are watching this person. There's something in the air where you both know that there's a level of not really having the same common goal or being on the same page here. So this is why whatever this person thought you were going to help them with or lead them on or, or give them information, um, <laughs> It's like, yeah, didn't go down, not going down. Okay, Spirit, tell us more. What's going to come of this here for Pile 2? Seeker, haters, opposition. Who's gonna, What's going to come of this? Oh, darkness. Okay, what's going to come of this? Action. Okay, what's going to come of this? 
unexpected. Hmm. Hmm. So there's definitely some unexpected actions here. I feel like actions have already been unexpected. Almost, you know, when somebody's shocked or it's like a slap in the face, I almost feel like there's been a couple of slap in the face moments here. Mm hmm. But I also feel like things are coming more to light. Hmm. What's going on here? What unexpectedly is going to be happening here with this composition? Hmm. It looks like just a lot of judgments, okay, towards one another. Um, really finding your own happy places. It doesn't look like it's stopping anything. Yeah, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Happiness. It looks like, you know, y'all gonna keep just playing this little game, really, and really focusing on finding your own happiness. It doesn't look like, you know, either one person is going to necessarily win here. I don't know if there's a winner, but I feel like you guys both win because neither person is having to feed into any types of misery or upsetting energy hmm. this is a very interesting reading pile too very interesting reading definitely giving me that kind of frenemies vibe all right boo like share comment subscribe all that good stuff and until the next time bye Hey, Pile 3. So quickly, I just want to tell you about Patreon, where you can find exclusive video content, free live readings every month, and an exclusive group coaching community where you get support and learn to build healthy relationships, open your pathways to love, heal any trauma that blocks love, and help you to step into the confidence you deserve. On my website, you can also find intuitive courses that help you to open your pathways to love, heal your inner child, or simply leave your toxic relationship patterns behind you for good. If you'd like a reading, you can also book one of those on my website. You can find all the details in the description box below. All right, there are pile three. Hey, boo, hey. So we got the nonsense card. So this could be a nonsense type situation. We gonna find out here who is your opposition, who's secretly hating, what it is that they thinking about wanting. Well, that's too many cards. I just want one, honey. I just want one, honey. Okay, we got here the Seven of Cups. Ooh, okay. We got the Chariot. We got the Five of Wands. And the King of Swords. Okay, give us more, give us more. We got the World. The King of Wands. Oops. Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So this person here is kind of like the person in Pile 1. They're very competitive with you, okay? This person is definitely competing with you, maybe in front of your face. You know, maybe you've noticed it or it could be behind the scenes. This is clearly seen here with this Five of Wands. You know, bowling. We know bowling is a competitive game. Don't nobody go to lose, right? So a lot of people are competitive in life, you know? It's like, well, if I see, you know, Pile 3 getting they glow up and they glam up and making money and being happy and in love, well, I want the same thing. Whatever it is that makes your world go round, okay? The problem here with this person, it looks like this person tries to play some sort of mind games with you or... Yeah, it's almost like this person thinks they're smarter than you, okay? This person is trying to outsmart you, play mind games. This is the type of person that may either, one, you know, do backhanded compliments, or this type of person, you know, that you'll come up with something new at work, and, you know, it's a great idea, and they'll tell you how great of an idea it is, and, you know, even help you do it, then go snitch, because it's not on company policy, it's like that type of person, you know what I'm saying, or instead of snitch, they go and report it and act like it was their idea, it's something like that here with this energy, this person is creating some confusion, there's definitely, and that's why the nonsense is there with the seven, seven of cups, 
I feel like this person is not to be trusted because I feel like this person will not hesitate to create confusion, lie, manipulate, play games just to win. This person doesn't care what they have to do to win. So for some of you, like I said, this could definitely be a competitive friend. It could be a competitive coworker, competitive family member. Um, anyone yeah this person wants to Ooh, they kind of want to be you i'm hearing that movie i don't know if y'all ever seen that movie single white female but in that movie the girl like tried to take over another girl's life you know what i'm saying like i think she even tried to kill her if i remember correctly it was a long time ago it was in the 90s but yes like this is a person that really is thinking very logical very controlled they're not feeling a lot of emotions towards you and what they do is, it's almost like, even when they notice that you're like a genuine and good person, they let you turn their back to that. Hmm. This person feels like your world is going round. This is definitely someone in competition. Let's keep going. Let's see here. What's going on here? Secret haters. Opposition for pile three. What's going on here? We got empowerment. Mm-hmm. We got equality, I told you. Competition, baby. I'm telling you, major. And prosperity. Okay, so for a lot of you, this definitely has to do with abundance. And this could be financial. This could be like certain stability. This could just be prosperity in your life any which way. What you got, this person wants it. That's all I got to say, okay? They feel like they should have the same power to manifest and bring forth everything that you have, which they probably do. The problem is that they too busy wasting that power on you know, trying to manipulate you, play games, trying to hold you back instead of focusing on their own growth and their ability to manifest these things. This person wants to be your equal so damn bad, they're not realizing that they are your equal. It's them in their mind that's making themselves feel lower than and less than, right? So this person definitely feels you have a lot of prosperity. Like I said, whether that be in your love life, whether that be in your finances, whether that be with your home, your car, you get what I'm saying when it comes to your relationships. Sometimes people mad because other people are very loved. So whether you are very loved, appreciated, either way, this person is mad, okay, because they want to be like you. And it's crazy because they really need to embrace their own self more. Like they need to know that they can do it. They can do what you do, but I mean, it might not be as good as you, but they can do it. They got to be more empowered. And it's almost like this person doesn't realize like your empowerment is self-empowerment. Like they can do the same thing. Tell us more here. Who's the opposition for pile three? Who's secretly hating? What's going on? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person. Ugh. Again, empowerment came out again. Pearl, that's crazy. So this person is very much a dreamer. They dream about things that they want to do and they pine for it. They long for it. They yearn for it. And the problem is that they're just not empowered enough. So when they see you dreaming of doing something and then doing it, this makes this person feel very inadequate. Okay. It makes them yearn for what you have. It makes them feel like, you know... I don't know, like you can just constantly elevate while they're stuck. This person feels very, very stuck. So in a sense, I mean, the energy I'm tapping into, I feel a little bad for them. But at the same time, not really, because maybe if you would stop thinking about how to run interference on other people, lie, manipulate, play games, do anything, you know, you could really focus on getting yourself ahead. Mm. Pile three need to get it together, honey. They need to get it together. Tell us what's going to come of this. Where is this going here with this hater, this opposition for pile three? We got patience. We got power again. This power keep coming up. Self-reflection. Okay. So this person is eventually going to stop hating, okay? They're going to just taper off and leave you alone because your energy is triggering them to um, focus on themselves. So I feel like this may just be somebody that's giving you the evil eye, really comparing themselves, feeling down about themselves. But Spirit is saying that 
that energy is not going to last forever within this person, okay? This person is going to realize here that if they are patient, right, that they can step into these same energy levels. This reminds me of someone... Like, for instance, I used to have this friend here and I was much older than her. So she would always compare her life to mine. I'm like, girl, I had a whole decade of practice over you. I had a you can't compare. I've done more things. I've gone through more things. I've lived through more life. So here's the thing. It's like this person's realizing here that they need to be more patient and that they need to step into their own power. So I feel like this is helping them realize here that sitting there hating on you, sitting there trying to maybe play games, manipulate, you know, maybe tell you they don't like a plan when they know it's a good ass plan. You get what I'm saying? It's like this person needs to realize here that it's about stepping into their own power. So they're going to be reflecting a lot. They're going to be taking this time here to really focus on themselves about damn time. Okay. And not focus on you. So with this message, I feel like spirit is saying, you ain't got to worry about it at all. Like there's really nothing for you to worry about, stress about, or be pressed about. Yeah, no, it's a tower. Things are completely shifting here. Two of Wands. It's just going to take a little bit of time for this person here to have some realizations and understanding. Once they do that, they'll chill out. They'll chill out. Yeah. And it don't seem like it's going to take too long. I'm getting like maybe in the next few months. So not tomorrow, but in the next few months, they're going to realize that sitting around being bitter about you ain't changing a damn thing. All right, boo. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be talking to you later. Bye.